Of course, you can't talk about cotton in southwest Oklahoma without discussing Lake Altus Lugert and the irrigation district it supports. Tom Buchanan oversees that district. We have the largest watershed of any individual lake in the state of Oklahoma. It's just in excess of 2,600 square miles. It starts just east of Amarillo and, of course, then extends all the way down into Lugert itself. When we are full, we hold 135,000 acre feet. And today, I think we're somewhere around that 14,000 acre feet, which is really just a large mud puddle is about all it is. Normally, this relatively small area produces a significant portion of Oklahoma's cotton crop. But for three years now, the irrigation ditches have been dry. There is zero cotton harvest going on in Jackson County inside the irrigation district. This is our third year in a row that we have missed a cotton crop, and by that I don't mean a, a bad crop or a small yield, absolutely zero, is being harvested in the 46,000 acres that we irrigate. Farmers do have crop insurance, but that only goes so far. However, a good insurance product does not replace a good product, a good yield, a good crop. Uh, it's not dollar for dollar. So um, we are struggling, uh, or we are burning equity as these years go by. When all you do is collect a crop insurance check, you burn a pretty amount, of, large amount of equity that same year. So producers themselves are beginning to struggle financially. And Buchanan says the effects ripple out from there. When we produce a crop in the irrigation district, it's about 250 plus million dollars to the local economy. We've had three years of that, so we're 750 million plus now of negative economic impact to the local economy. Producers, uh, the first thing that they've had to cut, of course, are labor, uh, labor resources. We don't need the amount of labor we used to. So when producers are not writing payroll checks on a weekly basis, then that money is not being spent in town. So therefore, the local shoe salesman, the grocery store, um, even the gas stations are seeing significant declines in what the products that they sell. So it's far reaching out past just the ag economy now and into the local economy as a whole. The longer the lake stays dry, the tougher it will be for the local cotton industry to recover. If there's no cotton harvested off the field, then there's none brought to the gin itself, so therefore that gin has been idle. And when that gin's idle, then those employees are not needed and aren't there either. And the really critical part of that is that those employees, that's a really specialized skill set to be able to operate a cotton gin. Uh, you can't just pull someone off the street and expect them to be able to do that to the quality that we need. And there's legitimate concern now that when our cotton crop comes back, where will we find those people to fill back in and run that facility for us? Buchanan is optimistic the irrigation channels can be flowing again in the near future. The vast majority of our inflow occurs in April and May of every year. Um, then a little bit into June. But if you can get those three months back to what I think is average, if there is an average, then one year can put us back where we need to be. In fact, we have had significant events throughout our 67 years of history that show a two or three day rain event in the right place can create significant rainfall for us. And that rainfall is just what this thirsty lake and parched economy need right now.